by millennials as transphobic, homophobic sexist sea scathing tweets. It turns out many millennials don't want to be there for friends. Now that it's arrived on Netflix, young people are slamming the show for being homophobic and sexist. Friends was such an incredible time capsule of the 1990s and early aughts. Unfortunately some of the jokes from back in that day don't translate very well with millennials that weren't around to experience the era. The iconic series has finally dropped on Netflix and young people viewing it for the first time are finding big problems with sexism, gay jokes and even transphobia. People are calling it out on Twitter, especially for how uncomfortable Chandler seemed at people thinking he might be gay as well as the jokes at the expense of his transgender father played by actress Kathleen Turner who starred in a Las Vegas drag review called Viva Las Vegas. The new viewers are also incredibly shocked about how white the show is, as there were so few people of color that ever appeared on the sitcom even though it was set in New York City, probably the most diverse metropolis in the U.S. In all of those seasons there was only one recurring black character. As Aisha Tyler played a paleontologist girlfriend to Joey who ended up later falling for Ross. Gabrielle Union had a one-show appearance as a girl who both Joey and Ross wanted to date and Ross had an Asian girlfriend early in the series, but he later dumped her for Rachel. The six main characters mainly interacted with each other and didn't seem to ever encounter people who weren't also white. Viewers are also taking issue with how Rachel hired a hot young guy as her assistant just because she desperately wanted to date him, which is so not cool in this day and age of workplace sexual harassment and misconduct fat shaming was also more prevalent back then as the characters would make fun of how Monica was overweight growing up. When the gang watches a videotape of her prom night, Joey shouts some girl late Monica. Yeah, that wouldn't fly today. Ross' plotline where he didn't want to hire Freddie Prinze Jr.'s sensitive male nanny character for daughter Emma because he feared he was gay is getting totally bashed, as is Chandler freaking out upon finding out that many women thought he was gay when first meeting him. Ross' lesbian ex-wife Carol and her sexual orientation is the butt of some jokes that definitely don't play in this day and age, even though back when the show aired it was applauded for including a LGBT couple. She later married Susan, the woman she left Ross for. Here's a sampling of some of the friends' fury on Twitter, re-watching Friends on Netflix and struck by colon so many transphobic, homophobic and biphobic jokes dash Ross is the worst Chandler is Twitter and I hate my awkward crush on him, Catherine Dunn, at El Gatti, January 4, 2018 re-watching Friends on Netflix and damn. Never realized just how annoying and homophobic Ross was with stuff like this. Did always love Carol and Susan though, should have known https colon slash slash t.co slash j 3 mro 7 x Amy, at Skaycraw, January 7, 2018 Netflix putting friends in their top picks for Neil's suggestions is straight up homophobic, Neil James Gillen, at Neil Gillen, January 11, 2018. UGH all the fat Monica jokes. I remember them so clearly, they used to follow me round in my head when I was a teenager and stopped eating thanks guys, Catherine Dunn, at El Gatti, January 4, 2018 What I've learned from friends being added to Netflix, the homophobic and transphobic jokes age it so badly. Same goes for sex and the city. Uncomfortable in parts. Gemma Thomas, at Gemma underscore Thomas 7. January 2, 2018 You know what I hate? In Friends, not only do they talk about Monica like she in number 39 semicolon s ridiculously huge when she's not, but her personality is completely different when she in number 39 semicolon s fat. As if being thin somehow makes her a more well-rounded person. Go home, friends. Pick.twitter.com slash n6 or 2, Murphy Napier, at Murphy Napier. January 10, 2018 I hate that throughout Friends Chandler and number 39 semicolon s trans dad continued to be a laughing stock, they always made fun of Carol being a lesbian, and they always made fat jokes about Monica. But what can you expect from a sitcom based in the 1990s? At Acidic Bobby, December 27, 2017 Hollywood Lifers, do you agree with the people shading Friends? Or do you think the show is funny and still holds up?